I'm here with you tonight to share with you about our convocation. July the 10th through the 14th. We have some powerful men and women of God that's going to be sharing that convocation. We have Bishop Jesse Geddon. He is the president and the bishop of Dima churches all across America. He's going to be here. I'm telling you from California, what a man of God that teaches the word of God. And on that Thursday, July the 11th, his wife, Dr. Harleen Giddens, she's going to be speaking to the women's. And then on that night, Bishop S.Y. Younger from Virginia, he's going to be here. He'll be speaking. And then Friday morning will be burn 1,000. You say, what? Burn 1,000. That is the time that a lot of teenagers, they come together, they share they share to have a great experience of the power of God among teens and children. You got to be there. And then Friday night, Bishop Jane Nelson, Baltimore, Maryland. I'm telling you, he's going to be there. And then we'll be climaxing on Sunday, Sunday at 5 p.m. I'll be speaking Bishop Donovan Miller, climaxing. You got to be there. But these services start July the 10th, 10, 10 a.m. in the morning, 7.30 at night. Listen, you got to be there. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about convocation because maybe you may not understand what convocation is. Convocation is a time for the body of believers come together to share a spiritual experience, to be poured into, to be refreshed, revived, and restored. And I believe that this is the time for you and you got to be there. I'm going to let Pastor Rostam just take a few minutes to share with you about some of the experiences that he has had at Convocation. And then following him, Pastor Jamel is going to share with you also. Pastor Rostam, what about Convocation? Let's share with the people. Yes, sir. Convocation, number one, is life changing. Every year we go to another level. This is something that you want to be a part of if you want to take your life to the next level. The people that come in are anointed by God. They are anointed to do what they're doing. And as you come in, I promise you, your life will never be the same. You need to make your way to convocation this year. Want to know why? Because when you leave, you won't be the same as you came in. God has a purpose for you. God has a plan for you. And we need to hear God year by year to help move us forward into that plan. I promise you, if you come to convocation, your life will never, ever, ever, ever be the same. God is doing something great in outreach ministries. Come be a part of what he's doing. Amen. Amen. That is so powerful. You know, when Pastor Russell said that, I also was thinking about this is the year of the breakthrough. You got to be there and let's experience a breakthrough from the Lord. Pastor Jamel, we want you to share about Convocation 2024. Yes, sir. Just so uh, excited to be a part of uh, this convocation. I think this is 29 years. Yes, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Convocation. I'm just so excited about what God has already done uh, all 28 years. Uh, and, and this year, I'm looking forward to what God's going to do. Um, just like Bishop said, this is the year of breakthrough. And as we come in and we uh, get ready to partake of these ministers, these preachers, these bishops, uh, and, and listen, we're looking for the Holy Spirit to come in. Bishop, I don't know about you, but I've just been excited ever since we have uh, came up with everyone that's coming. I don't know about you, but I'm just excited just to be in the presence of the Lord. And one thing I, I like, you know, we as pastors, we preach all the time. We're, we're ministering all the time. But this is a time even for us pastors, us leaders, uh, we get a time, we get a chance to come in and get fed and get poured into. Oh, yes. And then sir. we get we get to go back yeah. and take it back yeah. to our yes, ministry, yes, take it back yes, to our yes. uh, congregations. Yes. And and so I'm excited just to be poured into, you mm -hmm. know, what I mean? I'm yes. excited. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Bishop. And you know, <laughs> you know, and, and I'm telling you, that is so powerful. Man of God, you need to come. Listen. Men's of God, there are times we just need somebody to pour into us. We're preaching, we're teaching, we're shepherding people, we're caring for people. And, and, and sometimes you just need someone just to pour into you yes. that you have the strength that you need. Yes. So I'm challenging you, man of God, come on. Yes. Just come on the convocation. So I'm challenging you, man of God, come on. Yes. Just come on the convocation. You say, preacher, where's it going to be at? I tell you. 
$39.90, Fayetteville Highway in Griffin, Georgia. Yes. Yeah, yes, I'm telling you, Purple Memorial Campground in Griffin, Georgia. You need to be there. Oh. Woman of God, bring your youth. I'm telling you, Pastor Robson, I'm telling you. Yes, sir. What a time we looking for. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes, the youth. Oh, my goodness. We had t we had a thousand people, a thousand youth coming in, and, and God was moving mightily. They were being slain in the spirit, speaking in tongues, giving their hearts to Christ, laying out on the floor at 10 a.m. in the morning. Youth giving everything they have to the Lord. If you want want your children to be changed, if you want their life to be changed, they need to be at Burn 1000 because this is a life-changing experience for our children. And you know we're in a season now where our children need to connect yes. with God. Yes. We got so much stuff going on in the schools. We got so many people uh, uh, that, that are coming against the church, yes. but this is set up so our youth can get connected yes, back sir. with God. Yes, this is something that we need as, as a church as a whole. I'm telling you, Bishop Jesse Gideon is going to be there teaching the word of God. You got to watch this clip. Faith comes by hearing, right? Romans chapter 10. Faith comes by hearing. That's verse 17. And hearing by the word of God. But here's the reality. Watch this prophetess. Faith comes by hearing, but faith when it comes, it don't stay. It doesn't stay. The only way faith, faith comes by hearing, but when we hear it, now we got to activate something and start doing something with what we heard, or then faith that did come now leaves. And what happens with a lot of Christians, don't tell me that's not true, because the Bible says the kingdom of heaven is as if a man went and he sold the word. And when the word of God was sown, immediately comes the devil to steal that word that was just sown in your heart. By the time you get out of here... The devil's coming for the faith you got in God. Sunday we do good, but then here come Monday. And if you don't make sure that you're always adding to your faith, building your faith, strengthening your faith, encouraging your faith, walking by faith, talking by faith, I'm trying to help somebody out in here. And so where our mistake has been, we stop at believing. And I promise you, believing will send more people to hell than unbelieving because many people believe, but there's no action. Sure, go ahead, yes, sir. Man. Oh, yeah. I'm excited about Thursday night. Thursday night, Bishop S.Y. Younger. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss Thursday night. This is a dynamic speaker. Let's watch this clip right here, Bishop S.Y. Younger. Pull over your neighbor. Said, oh, neighbor. you gotta fight him because the sound in you is a sound of deliverance the sound in you is a sound of intercession and it wasn't created from a youtube clip it wasn't created from a track but down on my knee between the porch and the altar grab somebody and tell them i suffered to produce this sound it may not be popular, it may not be modern, but when, when, when I open up my mouth, walls come down. When I open up my mouth, bodies are healed. Scream at somebody, tell them don't shut your mouth. If you stop shouting, somebody will die. Listen, Women's 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 Day, you got to be there. Dr. Helene Giddens, she'll be there from California, and she's going to be teaching and preaching the Word of God. You got to be there. Watch this. We can't, we can't be up <laughs> with the sinners. Oh, Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. I don't care if they have a devil. I don't care how many horns they wear. I don't care if they chant. I got a greater one on the inside of me. I wish, I wish you'd be safe for real. I really do. I wish you'd love Jesus alone. I really do. I really do. It's time to be about the kingdom of our dear, of Jesus Christ the son of the living God. And I'm looking forward to you guys also on Friday night. Friday night, we're gonna have special guest singer. 
uh, Enrique Holmes. He's going to come. He's going to be a blessing to us. Listen, you know these songs. Check this out. We're ready for you to move. We invite you to fill this room. Come take your rightful place. We need you now. You say, come Holy Spirit. Come set your people free. Burn 1000 this year with, with youth pastor Taylor. He's gonna, he's gonna rock the children and bring their lives to another level. Watch this clip. I want somebody uh, got to have uh, somebody uh, to stomp their feet uh, and wave your hand. Uh, show that devil uh, it ain't over. I praise them for your destiny. If you can't dance, at least jump up and down. Left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left. That's it, gentlemen. Just, just do something. That's it. That's it. Just do something. And then also on Friday night, our uh, guest speaker is Bishop James Nelson. Oh, my God. Didn't we have a time on Ooh. last year? Oh, he preached the word wow. of God. I'm telling you, that man brought the word of God. What, watch this clip right here. Just check this out. Do it. God's going to 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 do it. I don't know who this is for, but I just heard this. Anybody that needs God to do a miracle, even physically, whether it's you or your family member, I need you to dance right now. I know it sounds crazy, but I need you to do it. That's your act of faith, because I hear miracles. Miracles, miracles, miracles. I hear miracles. The release is in the room. Straight away. The release is in the room. You do. Straight away. Shout you do. You're gonna see it. You're gonna see it. be in the house Sunday at 5 p.m. where Bishop is climaxing, I promise you, your life is going to be changed forever. Go tell somebody else. Say he didn't change his mind. Say people counted me out, but God didn't. God didn't. He didn't count me out. No, no. No, no. Say, I came the convocation. I have danced. I have run. But can I tell you, you're one dance away from a win. You're one run away from a win. You're one, hallelujah, away from a win. Yes. Yes. I'm closer. I'm closer. Uh Oh my goodness, you want to be a convocation in 2024. I promise you, your life is going to be changed forever. This is the year of breakthrough. We have services 10 o'clock in the morning and 7.30 at night. Be in the house and watch your life be changed forever.